All right, Ian. Um, scalpers are, are are having a bad time. Yeah, a listener uh, brought us brought this to our attention yesterday. Uh, it's it's a light week for topics, so we'll discuss this. PlayStation Five scalpers aren't happy with their public image. <laughs> Boo hoo! Uh, <laughs> So <laughs> grab some plush abs and cry your face yeah. out like a pillow. Bury your face in some plush abs yeah. and get over it, Slappy. Um, so it starts off talking about how uh, basically, you know, uh, people are having, especially right now during the pandemic, people are, uh, you know, they want something new to do. The new systems like the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X are out and um, people are having a tough time getting a hold of them because scalpers keep buying them all up with bots, with bots. And then... Uh, flipping them for you know uh, extra money uh, so you know they're supposed to be going I think this is this uh, article is written in UK parlance uh, so <laughs> it's, what, it's, it's written in middle English yes. Shakespearean uh, English so 450 pounds I think is what they're saying is what it costs and you know the, some people are flipping them for seven to 750 pounds um, Pat me a thousand dollars so uh this article talks to uh, a couple uh, fellows, Jordan and Reagan, who via Forbes, uh, via Forbes, uh, who work for a uh, a cook group. Uh, they they co-founded the Lab, a private group that advises paying users on how to scalp, how, how to create a cook group. Um, here's the quote: There seems to be <laughs> a lot. It's, it's so hard. Uh, <clears throat> There seems to be a lot of bad press on this incredibly valuable industry. And I do what? It's <laughs> like <laughs> you really try it hard from sentence one. Seems to be a lot of bad press on this incredibly valuable industry, and I do not feel that it is justified. <laughs> All we are acting as is a middleman for limited quantity items. <laughs> says Jordan, who co-founded the lab. Essentially, oh, every oh. business resells their products. Okay. Uh, my head's gonna explode. Let me just let me just finish this one. Tesco, which is a a, a grocery store over there, for example, buys milk from farmers for twenty six pence or so per liter and sells it on upwards of seventy p per liter. No one seems to complain to the extent as they are currently oh. doing towards oh themselves. Oh because it's not the fucking same. Oh my god, my head. I mean, this is these are arguments that people have with us all the time. Like, what's the difference between scalpers and fucking Best Buy selling you TVs? Let me tell you the fucking reason. All right, my head's gonna fucking explode from all these. Con my head's gonna explode. Yeah, it's insane. Well, let's start. First of all, it's not a fucking industry. You're yeah. not making anything. You're not an industry. You're not creating anything. It's not an industry. You don't know what the word industry means. Okay. Um, every business resells a product. Okay. You have manufacturers, creators of products, and you have wholesalers that get it out to the public. The reason why you, this exists is because the, the manufacturers do not have the wherewithal or they're not in the business of actually selling to everyone. Yeah. They need someone to... to to set up a storefront or online store to sell to everyone else. They don't have the pipelines and everything uh, set up. Marge and Billy uh, can't go 100 miles to the milk farm and get milk, but they can go to the supermarket and buy it there. So that that is a, a essential part of the chain of getting the product to market and to the person. What you are doing, uh, Jordan, is you are artificially inserting yourself where you, where you don't need to in order to create a barrier to people to get your product. So if I want to buy from an online store, they have the product already. That's the end. That's the end goal. I can go to Best Buy so website or go to Best Buy in the store and the and it's from the manufacturer and it's there for me to purchase. They that's that's the service they provided. They provided the service. They mark it up because they can buy a bunch of them. And the manufacturer makes money, and now I it's marked up so they can make money, and I get my product. The PlayStation 5 on GameStop or Amazon or whatever is the milk in the supermarket. It's yes. already there. We don't need another what, supermarket in between. What you are doing is you are going into the store and buying all the gallons of milk and then setting up shop in the, in the, in the supermarket's parking lot and then upcharging it uh, to the degree that you want. And then acting like it's a valuable step. That's if you want to go there, Jordan. That's what you. That's that's the that's the the the, the metaphor here. Or if I guess if you can buy milk online, you are using bots to buy all the milk online, and then I can't get milk. You're a shitty little scum fuck, Jordan. There's a there's a weird. And this happened with it with a, a person. I won't say who it was, but when we did our scalping story uh, about six seven weeks ago, right after Christmas, there was a there was a YouTuber slash podcaster who I did a podcast with had a problem with us 
talking about scalping. And it was one of these arguments, these fucking thought exercise people that are, well, they're, you're, not, you're not thinking about the service they provide. And they, and they start to bring out, they start to like try to go into financial theories about, well, if you, if you have the supply restricted, that's actually good. And here's why. There's, when you are artificially restricting a market, you're doing, you are doing so much damage, not just to the end consumer, but you're also doing potential damage in some cases to the manufacturer because they don't even know how many are really selling. They don't even know that their product is popular or not in some weird cases. Um, so there's not really an advantage to scalping if you want to go down that uh, route. There's, a, there's always a weird theory about, well, if you raise prices, that controls the market better. And no, 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 it, it doesn't. You're restricting it to only a certain amount of people can buy it then. Less people can get your product in theory when you do that. I just, I'm just over these fucking thought exercises for scalping. Raising the fucking, price on something is not uh, providing a valuable service. In it's not any, an industry. Any way, shape, or form. There's literally no value being added. It's, no. on, it's on the industry to, to buy a scalping uh, bot or set it up and to run it. If you hadn't bought that, they could have bought it for a cheaper price. You are actively being and, a problem. And a lot of times they are. You are, yes, they're clicking, oh, I'm going to click checkout and within 10 seconds they can't because the bot got it in a yes. second. You're telling me that's an industry? You're, 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 what, what value are you providing by restricting the supply artificially? Uh, people will bend over backwards to make themselves feel better about being absolute scumbags. What is, it, what is the value provided? Oh, we're getting to people that couldn't get it. Yes, because you... You made the are, problem. You bought all the milk. You created the problem. You bought that $3 gallon of milk and now you want five fifty for it. Which people try to do with the chicken sandwiches at... Uh, Popeyes last year. I read people were trying to buy all the. Popeyes oh yeah, I saw. I saw a picture. I saw two dudes standing outside with huge bags of chicken sandwiches trying to sell. And they them probably and no, didn't sell any. No, no, because that's a fucking dumb idea. We're not, we're not buying your a twenty dollar chicken sandwich that should cost us four bucks. We're not doing that. Uh, so then, so here's here's uh, towards the end of the article. This is where I wanted I wanted to make sure I touched on this. Uh, both Reagan and Jordan say so they flip it. Uh, instead of providing a valuable service, by the end of the article, Jordan and Reagan have changed their minds. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, we are ultimately helping people. We're helping people by giving them financial opportunities to resell consoles at an inflated price. I mainly just try and help others now. That's all that really oh, matters you're, to me. You're fucking. Okay, you're fuck fucking, off. You're fucking Robin Hood. That yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you're, are you kidding me? You're a hero. The whole group came about near the start of the first UK lockdown. It makes me so happy that I can help people make some extra money for themselves. Uh -huh. You know, it'd be great if people who are fucking going through lockdown had the entertainment devices that they wanted to buy for themselves to get through lockdown. Uh, and, and this YouTuber had a problem with me, a uh, podcaster, because they were like thinking, uh, I was said, uh, I brought up the fact that, well, pe he said like, oh, people can wait to get it. And I said, well, if, imagine if you have a kid that really wants a PS5 well, kid. And you know, and he's um, he really wants it, and, and and kids really want stuff. Whether it's tickle me Elmos back in the day, uh, a, a parent's gonna want to do something to get their kid the gift they want. Right. They will spend more money. And then his little fucking snarky ass reply, uh, which he like quote tweet one of these quote tweet assholes. And, uh, uh, he said, "Imagine basing your your entire economic theory on on what your eight year old thinks." It's like do you, don't don't ever have fucking kids then ever, because because. The, the worst thing in the world I can imagine being a parent is if my kid wants something and I can't get him that gift. Sure. Because kids aren't as rational as you economic theory 40-year-old. They're fucking children. <laughs> and yes, while in theory you can say to an 8-year-old, you can wait a couple of months. All they're thinking about is, great, all my friends are playing this new game or they have this console and I'm the one left out or I want this. So... So, uh... Regs and Jords over here. Uh, I think they felt like maybe that this like interview was getting away from them because this is the last time. They, oh, they, did out. they really think that this interviewer from Forbes wanted to learn about their industry? Right. Uh, we do a lot for charity as well. Oh God. I myself or collectively as a group donate to charity uh -huh. almost monthly at this point. Uh -huh. Most notably over the past month, we donated a large portion of our membership fees uh -huh. to a food bank local to me. Oh, membership fees for their little industry group. I asked for details of the food bank to confirm Reagan's donation, but he didn't provide their information. So the author said, okay, that's, hey, you mentioned it. I want to follow up, do my due diligence as a reporter, as a journalist, and it wasn't provided. Yeah. Yeah. Don't bring up that shit. Just don't. Don't. Just don't. I, I fucking, uh, I, I, we've mentioned, we've both mentioned it on here before. Nothing, I, I hate nothing more 
than uh, people who do bad and fall back on giving to charity. Sure. You know who gives to charity? Nearly fucking everyone. A lot of people give to charity. Gives to charity. And it's good. Give to charity. Yes. Help where you can. But don't use it as a fucking fallback plan so you can go out and be shitty and then be like, but I donate to charity. Hey. It takes nothing but the money. Hey. Hey, the mafia bosses are giving out turkeys, you know, uh, for Thanksgiving. We don't know how they got the money for the turkeys. We don't care. (laughs) But it's charity. It's charity. So... Hey, that drug cartel rebuilt that neighborhood. We don't know how they got the money, but, you know, it's good that they're doing that. You can't go down that road. You can't. So, anyways, yeah, I don't know. Going through this article again just made me angrier. I think angrier than I was the first time. It's really just dog shit. It's it's awful. These I, The, the, the absolute mental acrobatics you have to go through to be like... Yeah, no, what I'm doing is actually good. Yeah. Make, making buying stuff hard for people is actually good. I'm a good, I'm, I'm a good I'm person. I'm a good person. I'm a good person. I I'm give the bad. charity almost monthly at this point, kind of, but definitely the past but, month, but, but can't, I can't show you I, any receipts. And I can't prove it, but I do it. Yeah, but I do it. I do it. Um, Fucking stub your toe, you piece of shit. It's also the... I re- hope you kick a wall. <laughs> Kicking a wall hurts, Ian. It does. It sucks. I, That's uh, why I wished it on him. You don't want to stub your toe. I get turf toe. Um... <laughs> Turf toe, that's a thing. I know Mahomes had, it the had it. Mahomes had it during the Super Bowl. That's why he couldn't run around. Um, well, um, what was I going to say? Turf toe. It's also on the on these retailers' websites that have better security because they talked about having like this um, in the UK. There's this, I guess, security where that they send you to another website after you input your credit yeah. card to make sure you're. It's you. Some websites have it. Some don't. Uh, in in the when I buy from a website in the US, I know people hate. Well, I'll click on all these if to make click on all these boats. And then sometimes they're not really a boat, and you have to redo it. But I hate it when it's click on um, click on like the, the the traffic lights, yes, or something. Any of them really. But when there's like a sliver, just a yeah, sliver. you don't know. You don't have to be hundred percent, and you're probably ninety percent. No, you're allowed to miss one or two. But why can't we input that for when you're doing checkout for these? Not every item on Walmart.com or Best Buy. Some of them, and then the bots would just break. Just just input the security. Read the squiggly line, which, which I think bots can do. But you know, the, 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 identify all the bicycles, or just do that, and that would get rid of the bots for some of these items. Just yeah. click a button on Walmart. Oh, if you're buying the PS4, Five or Xbox uh, Series S or X, you have to do one more step, and then the, then it'd be fair game. That's all. But I'm done. I'm fucking done with these overly fucking logical, um, n- non-empathetic assholes when it comes to this stuff i'm just done with you as people when it comes to this or anything else when it comes to social or political or economic issues where we're not all fucking vulcans people people live emotion is a real thing that people deal with every day it needs to be taken into account and all those people that say that i'm like okay how logical is your religion or who you got married to where's the logic in that asshole it's emotional the fuck People live upon emotions. We survive upon emotions, not just logic. Yes, logic's a part of it. And being rational is a part of everyday living. But emotions come into everyday life. And you have to keep it in check sometime, but you cannot deny that they exist. Fair enough. Fair enough. 